For as long as I can remember, I've loved Sudoku. Moving numbers around on the page and in my mind was my go-to whenever I had a free moment. I've always been a problem solver, but it wasn't until I came to Quinnipiac that I found how my love for Sudoku would lead me to my future career. I'm Janine J. This is my story. In high school, I was interested in sustainability and technology, and had plans to take those interests and pursue a business degree in college. That all changed after speaking with the former dean of Quinnipiac School of Computing and Engineering at Admitted Students Day. We talked about my interests, and when I mentioned my love for Sudoku, she said that is a telltale sign of an engineer. That led me to dig into engineering degrees offered, and ultimately, I signed up for engineering. I've always been interested in computers. At first year orientation, I joined an info session on software engineering and what you could expect as a major. I didn't know anything at all about computer systems, let alone writing a program. But when one of the professors mentioned you didn't need to have any coding experience before your first class, well, that was everything I needed to dive head in. As the semester began, I remember meeting some of the guys in my class and thinking, oh wow, they've been coding since middle school. I have so much ground to cover. But Computer Science 101 helped bring me up to speed. My professor, Jonathan Blake, really went over everything. We were encouraged to work with classmates and take advantage of office hours. I can't express enough how much I was supported and pushed to go outside my comfort zone by my professors in all of my classes. They encouraged us to explore whatever topic we wanted and talk with them about it. I became very passionate about software engineering. A few of my classmates and I started a computing club to get together and host the occasional hackathon. We toured local companies and brought in alumni to talk about the world of computing. During the summer leading into my senior year, I completed an internship at Cigna in their innovation department, exploring so many different projects. It was an amazing opportunity that gave me experience and built my confidence. As I returned to campus senior year, my focus turned to my capstone, where I helped build the Quinnipiac weather website using data from the civil engineering stations. Learning how to build a website from scratch, read and write to servers and gather data from sensors, brought together everything that I had been learning for four years into a single URL. As I worked to complete my capstone, I began to think about my future after graduation. Professor Ruby L. Carbutli shared an application for a scholarship to the Grace Hopper Conference. It's an annual gathering of over 20,000 women in tech. There were lectures, hands-on workshops, and a huge career expo hall. I learned about jobs that high school me had never heard of before. It opened the door to network with reps from companies like Google, Zillow, and Goldman Sachs. After the conference, my career search took off. I was doing virtual interviews between classes and was able to land a full-time job before Thanksgiving of my senior year. I joined Liberty Mutual's Techstart Rotational Program. Today, I'm a full-stack software engineer, building web applications and database procedures that I would have shied away from a few years back. I've gone from not knowing how to code to a full-time software engineer. That's sort of college in a nutshell, but it's the professors who supported me and the experiences that I've had at Quinnipiac that prepared me to work on programs that affect tens of thousands of people at a Fortune 100 company. I'm Janine Jay, and that's my story.